All right, I want to show you another uh, verse comparison here very quickly. This is the King James Version. I want to zoom in here. We're going to look at Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Very important portion of Scripture. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. This is the only time that this appears in the entire Bible. And this is a very important description of God. Okay? You say, are you omnipresent? I am. Not I have been or I will be or maybe at one time I was. I am. That's what a, an eternal God would say. That's a, a statement that he would make. Okay? And he clears it up. There is only one I am. I am that I am. This very, very important statement. And like I said, this is the only time in the whole Bible that it appears, Exodus 3.14. So, the new versions being satanic, they would want to pervert that. But before I show you some other new versions, I'll show you another witness here. This is actually a Jewish Bible. There's no New Testament to this. Hebrew Publishing Company. And how do they render it? I am that I am. You can see it right there. I am that I am. <clears throat> now let me move my King James Bible out of the way. And first I'll show you from my old NIV. I put these stickers on for another video. But this is my old New International Version. The one I used for 15 years before I became a King James Bible believer. And it says I am who I am. So it takes away a very holy statement about Almighty God and it replaces it with a common ordinary statement. I've heard people say that a lot. You know, oh you're just a, a dumb country hick or something. Well, I am who I am. You know, I've heard people say that. Sure. So they remove I am that I am and they just put I am who I am. But the NIV is not alone and it's perverting of that verse. Let's look at a couple others quickly. Here we have the Revised Standard Version, uh, 3 verse 14, I am who I am. Revised Standard Version reads the same as the NIV. A lot of people will attack the Revised Standard Version, but you know they'll defend the NIV. Here's another one, the Bible on American Translation. Most people have never even heard of this one. This is another one that came out years and years ago, I think back in the 1950s. And it was going to replace the King James Version, you know. And it's out of print today. Uh, where are we at here? 3 verse 14. I am who I am. Same thing. They just keep coming out with the same readings, trying to get the people to accept it. How about the Policeman's Bible? This is a HCSB. There you have the police officer's badge, I guess. And uh, of all the things that a police officer should be given to protect them or to, to lead them into the right way, this is not one of them. And you have again, I am who I am. Just another modern perversion. The Bible. How about the Berkeley version in modern English? How does this say it? 3 verse 14. I am who I am. So again, you see the same thing. How about uh, the hippie Bible? The living Bible. Ken Taylor's uh, ridiculous perversion. It says here, verse 14, The sovereign God was the reply, just say, I am has sent me. So they actually take out the I am that I am. But then you look down here in the footnotes and it says, I am what I am, or I will be what I will be. No, I'm sorry, that's not the right rendering. And while I have it here in my hands, we're going to go to 1 Samuel 20, verse 30. And I'm sorry about this, but I just want to show you how bad these new versions are. How's that for a verse of scripture for you? You want to give this Bible to your child? They could use that kind of profanity and, and uh, well, mommy, I'm just quoting scripture. See? And over here in John, chapter 9, how about that one? Yeah, there's your, your modern, up-to-date, new version. 
Here we have the New World Translation. Of course, you know they're going to blow this one. This God said to Moses, I shall prove to be what I shall prove to be. <laughs> yeah, no, it's I am that I am. <clears throat> Here we have next the New American Bible, the New Catholic Translation, and 3 verse 14. Where are we at here? God replied, I am who am. So they took out I there. And of course they put in the who again. <clears throat> now this one here is another one that's pretty incredible. We have the Catholic Youth Bible. New Revised Standard Version. And those orange markings there, I'll have to do that in another video. Um, they actually tell people that read this, youth that read this, that they should be taking the Mass and everything. You know, so they're making Bibles for Protestants and for Catholics. And of course, it's just, they're all Catholic versions anyhow. But it says here, uh, I am who I am. So you see it there again. All right, next. This one is just cracks me up. <clears throat> we have the Amplified Bible. And there's a lot of um, people that actually recommend this ridiculous thing. This is only good for a, a laugh, really. And God said to Moses, I am who I am and what I am, and I will be what I will be. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, they ought to read uh, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 6, where it says, Add thou not unto the words lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. You know, a little bit of adding to the word there. But is there a, whoops, a new version which has it right? Well, here is a, I don't know if this will show up on camera. This thing's pretty, getting pretty faded. This is an American Standard Version. Now, this isn't a 1901. This is, I think, a 1913 edition, I believe. But uh, where are we at here? I am that I am. You say, oh, well, then the American Standard Version's right. Well, they got that one verse right, but they came out a few years later with the new American Standard Version, and uh, they realized the error of their ways, and they went back to the Catholic reading, I am who I am. You can see it there. So, you know, you can't get an American Standard Version anymore unless you find one used. The new modern updating of it is the new American Standard Version, and they change it to the same reading as all the others. <clears throat> but how about the New King James Version? Again, with your trichatra there, the symbol of the uh, occult there, the witch's trinity. I am who I am. So they read like all the other ones. The New King James Version is not an updated King James Version. That's a lie. <clears throat> but is this a new reading that wasn't available to the translators of 1611? Well, I have here, this is a Dewey Reams. You can see the Dewey down there. This is an old one. Um, a Dewey Reams. And it says here, that's 414, excuse me. Uh, right there. I am who I am. And just uh, two more witnesses here to this fact that that is a Catholic reading. I have here Catechism of the Catholic Church. I am who I am, right in the Catholic Catechism. And you say, well, that's an older catechism. That's, you know, an older one. Okay. <clears throat> How about this one? Let's see what this one says. Oh, lo and behold, I am who I am. Roman Catholic reading and attack on Almighty God. The correct reading is in the King James Version. I am that I am. <laughs>